One of the best ways to make a great fitting night guard or splint fast is by designing it yourself following a few simple rules. The key to doing this fast is keeping your focus on what's important. And knowing what that is, depending on your patient, is the way to do that. The big important key here is to make a night guard or splint that the patient will actually wear. So here are six additional ways that you can make great night guards so that your patients actually love them. Number one is correct occlusal plane. Move to the highest point, so you wanna be able to make sure that the teeth are on a level plane. Number two, open the articulator and make sure there's enough space for the acrylic of the night guard. And also make sure that in protrusive, there's enough space in the anterior. Number three, insertion direction. I just leave it the way the, um, the software designs it, but sometimes I'll flip the model to make sure that the patient can get it out easily. Number four, create retention, but don't lock it in. I will often go around the model and remove a little bit of, uh, a little bit of wax just so I can create a button for retention. But if you remove too much, it gets locked in and it's really hard to remove. Number five, the posterior occlusal surface of the night guard must support the bite. So make sure you raise it up and you have solid, even contacts in the back. And number six, correct the guidance. If you're looking for canine rise, make sure you put that into your night guard. Whatever it is that you're trying to do for that patient, just double check in the design that you have it. 